Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is another beautiful day here in sunny South Florida. As you can see, we are back in the garden. In front of us, we have my newly built, newly assembled flood and drain uh, ebb and flow table. This is utilizing hydroponic nutrients as always. Currently, only these two center tubs are connected. These outer ones, I just have potted soil plants here that I water by hand but this in the middle is uh, fully automated at this point. This is very easily made. We got some two by fours, we got some four by fours underneath supporting it and some cinder blocks, as you can see over here. The tubs themselves are very inexpensive. Mixing tubs for like concrete and cement, something you would find at Home Depot. The reason I opted for this is because a tray to fit a flood and drain table this uh, of this size, at least a professional one, would be very expensive, probably a couple hundred dollars. Uh, just for the liner alone. So this was much less than that. Also, I had to use these fittings here from Viagro. I think you see it better over here. So this one uh, comes from the pump. It fills and then it drains back down through the pump. This is an overflow just in case uh, the pump runs for too long. Pump is on a timer. The schedule is currently twice a day once at six in the morning and the hottest point of the day, which, are, which is around 2 p.m. Only the two center ones are currently connected. These just get watered by hand. I'm gonna run through all the plants that we have real quick and then I'll show you down below. So we have some sun gold, sun sugar, cherry tomatoes here. You can tell it's already flowering. This was just a cutting that I took from my much bigger plant, which is for another video. And um, I just placed it in here and well, it's, it's rooted and it's growing. These I placed here yesterday, this one. And well, this one's not too happy. These are ground cherries. They're, they're already fruiting, you can see. They were fruiting when I got them. And oh, I'm just gonna see how that works out. It's probably gonna end up growing all over. I haven't learned my lesson about trellising, which you'll see <laughs> in the next video. Here we can see, I'm sure mo most of you can recognize this. We have peppers, peppers, and peppers. Uh, and this one's a sad little pepper back here. You can see that the color of, of the peppers is very, very nice. They're gonna start getting darker now because they, they are finally getting nutrients. The nutrients only started two or three days ago. Again, Master Blend Tomato Formula, link down below if you want it. Any purchases through the link, the Amazon links do support this channel and helps me build more of this stuff. Anyway, back to the peppers. I'm not sure what variety these are, but we will be seeing it soon. I wouldn't be surprised if this starts budding up and flowering uh, shortly. I also have some papaya. So papaya here, papaya here. We got one here. And we got a couple back here and these will be going in the ground eventually i know everybody can recognize the dragon fruit there's two little ones here we got a much bigger one here with a very nice growth happening up here no spikes but very nice growth this one i just placed over here this was over off to the side getting inconsistent watering it did not get water today because i just placed it in here these pepper plants prior to me placing them in here look just like this they were ugly, they were beat up, and now they're super vi vibrant and back to life. Hoping the same for, to happen for that one. Uh, let's look down below real quick so you can see what's going on with the plumbing. And then uh, maybe I'll scooch on over and show you the timer. Pretty simple timer, 15 minute increments. I set it for uh, to flood and drain for 15 minutes. Uh, does it need that much time? Probably not. But again, I wanna keep this simple. There's no reason to micromanage it or get too crazy. So. Let's go down. So down here you can see, remember each one has two fittings. To just daisy chain the other one, I would just have to run another T fitting. But this would be the feed and this is the overflow. So basically water comes up through the pump, which is located in this 27 gallon reservoir, fills the tubs up to the predetermined level, which is determined by the overflow. And then once the pump turns off, the water just flows on back down through the pump. So here you can see it has a yellow hue to it, uh, not because the top, but because there's hydroponic solution in here. And let me see if I can just pull up the pump for you. Pretty standard submersible pump. I took off the filter part because this is rather clean water. There's nothing in there. And if there's any debris, I would hope it flows back down through the pump. Let's uh, scooch on over to see the timer. So this is the timer here. Pretty simple, inexpensive outdoor timer, 15 minute in intervals. And you can see one here. Uh, this is for two o'clock in the afternoon and there's one punch down down here for six o'clock in the morning and it just goes through and turns on uh, when it is time obviously there's some 
tinkering that can happen with the flooding schedules and all that. But for right now, this is working rather well. Uh, again, I'm using Coca Coyer here. I've never used Coca Coyer, but it seems to be working fine. And you can always put little plants in between. You can also fill this bed with media, which I might do with the outside ones to grow in a different style without these particular plants. I just like these plants because everything's isolated uh, and the, the roots don't really intertangle with the other plants. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to show you guys some fruit. A little sneak peek what's going on over there. Absolutely wild. And uh, I guess that's a situation in which I can learn. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of you can recognize what the problem is over there. Anyway, remember, smash that like button, subscribe, check back later. Peace.